Hey guys, what is up? Kevin here, and um, yeah, I haven't made an update in a while. I actually haven't went to school a lot either. Reason being is because, well, I got sick, and not like your typical sick, like, I'm really, really, really sick, and turns out I have this infection, and all my friends have been telling me it's Ebola, and trust me, it's not, you would know, but... Honestly, recently I did get sick. I cough uncontrollably, and it got to the point where I cough so much, it's beginning to hurt. <coughs> like that. Um, they began to happen every minute to a couple seconds, and now it's died down to not that often, and... When it does happen, it it's pretty painful. I've been also getting fevers. I got a sore throat, and I'm getting headaches. So it's also not good either. Um, so what has been happening recently? Um, there was something that happened around. I'd say the seventh, this, this Tuesday, yeah, this Tuesday. My friend Justin, he moved to, um, he moved to Florida. I don't know exactly where, and I, I don't think I would tell you guys, unfortunately. But he moved to Florida, and um, uh, well, you guys know him. He was playing Antifreeze in New in Detective Freeze: Age of Antifreeze. Which, by the way, thank you guys so much for making that an awesome movie. Like, make that incredibly successful. Um, but, um, what else, what happened was, is that, well, when he did move, I decided to walk up his block. Maybe see if he was there, like, he was just leaving, you know, say goodbye. But the weirdest thing happened. When I was walking up his block, uh, no one was home, yeah, sure. But I looked to my right, and I see his trash, right? His Xbox is right on top of the trash, and right next to it is his scooter. Now, being the inconsequent guy, I'm just saying, like, to myself, why would he throw away his Xbox 360? Now, here's the deal. I get it if you're going to throw away the Xbox 360 because it could have the red ring of death or something. I don't know. It could just not might work. But the thing that made it weird is that the hard drive, you know, the, there's a hard drive on top of it. Like, now these things are incredibly expensive. It's still there. It's a 120 gigabyte HH, um, HDD hard drive. And... I'm just saying to myself, holy shit, why would he leave this there? So, and, and yeah, again, his scooter. So, I didn't know what to do. I, like, pass, leave it there, or take it. But then these hillbillies, um, not hillbillies, but, like, these people in the tr on this really weird hippie van, van passed by and said, Hey, is that your trash? And I say, um, I just think right away, saying, yes, it's my trash. So I decided to take the Xbox 360, and I took the scooter home, and I tested it over at my friend Stanley house. It does have the red ring of death. The Xbox that I did find has the red ring of death, but the hard drive was, in fact, a good find. Because it has, like, his saved files, which is not good to have, of course, but it does have Call of Duty 4. And that is a game that I kind of wanted to play, but luckily it's installed digitally, so it'll be fun to play. Now, watching, like, like when Stanley was, like, testing it, it was pretty obvious that he wanted me to basically give him the, the hard drive. Um, like, when I was, like, uh, when I was, uh, when I asked him, hey, can you test his Xbox 360? And I said, um, can I just borrow the thing? And he said, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, but let's test it in my place. And I say, no, let's test in my place because 
I'd rather take the risk instead of you doing it. And he said, no, no, my TV is built for this. Take it to his place, has the red ring of that, and he says, you owe, you owe me like $300. And I say, what? Dude, you said you were prepared. And like, I had the text too, but I don't care. It, I, I get, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, it, it was like a little stupid thing he did, but I don't, I don't care. But the hard drive, though, it was pretty obvious, though, that he was trying to get it out of me. Like, he kept saying, it's trash, you need an Xbox in order to have it. And I said, yeah, my friend does. And I, I, I already have plans with this hard drive. No thank you, no thank you. And I just talked to the left. But it was pretty obvious what he was trying to do. The reason why I'm talking about this and and not afraid to really say it is mainly because I know for a fact he does not watch these vlogs. And that's a good thing. That is a really good thing because I can basically say it and not to worry about it. But anyway. Yeah. So it got to the point where I didn't know who to trust. Like, was I able to tell people that I found this? Like... Up until I just put this publicly, the only people that knew about this was Samantha, Kevin, and Stanley. Of course, Stanley, because he tested it out, but Samantha and Kevin, because I trust them the most out of anybody. Um, now, what else? Uh, as for the scooter, good fine, because I don't have a scooter anymore. I, I sold mine a couple years ago, and I kind of missed one. And it would be good to have one, and also something to have to remember just in my. Same goes for the Xbox. Hmm. <coughs> now, um, actually this goes out to anybody that's watching this vlog right now. I'm looking for somebody that knows how to fix the red ring of death. Because, here's the deal. Stanley told me that the Xbox is garbage and whatever. I know for a fact that's not true. I've seen people fix this. I seen people fix the red ring of death. Justin probably just didn't fix it because he didn't have the time or money. Like, um, for it. So I wanna know. Is it possible to fix the red ring of death? I know for a fact it is, but do any of you guys know anybody that would be willing to do it? I know for a fact um I would. I'm not, I know for a fact there are some people down on 50th Street where I live that could do it. Um, I just gotta make out a price with these guys. Uh, yeah. But enough about that. I want to talk about a different thing, and that's called um, Neo versus Detective Freeze. Now, a long time ago, back in the 4th of July, I promised you guys that I would reveal to you the title of the film. When Detective Freeze Age of Antifreeze is released. It's released and you're you're literally 48 hours away from seeing the movie. So I'm just going to give you the title right now. The movie is going to be called Neo vs. Detective Freeze. Now the text title will be called Supernovian Civil Conflict. Self-explanatory. It's clever. It's intelligent. It's everything I want a title to be. Now. We are shooting this tomorrow. I tried to shoot like certain scenes this day and certain scenes that day. But now I'm just deciding to merge together. Um, Stanley, um, Stanley has been casted to be play a role in the film. Kevin has been casted to revise his roles. Um, Detective Freeze. And Luigi came back from, um, from Detective Freeze, Age of Antifreeze to revise his role as, um, Dr. Stephen Hazel, a.k.a. Brain Matter. Now, you guys do not do not know these comics that we made, but he plays an important role in a different franchise, but we decided to bring him here because we need that quintessential person. That, and he's never been brought to the screen before besides the last film, so it would feel a lot more better. Alright, so all I need to talk about? Okay, see ya.